Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. Um, I am going to whiz through the first part of this video really quickly. I apologize. Got some time constraints today. Um, today we are doing our monthly card hop and hop and we are doing a couple different um, techniques. The technique I chose was Black Magic, which is coloring on dark cardstock using pigment ink as your base. So I did a couple different things here. You can see I used my Brutus Monroe pigment ink. This is white. And then I used a Versamark um, separately. And excuse me, and today I used this indigo blue butterfly stamp. This is an older stamp that I've had in my stash for some time, but I think I've never used it. They are a stamp company out of the UK. They do a lot of art stamps, like um, mixed media type stamps, but they also have some some really great uh, in like designs of the normal kind of stamps that you buy to, to color and, and things like that. So I um, used that. I went ahead and stamped my butterfly on both blue and black cardstock and used both the Versamark and the pigment ink. So here's the white pigment and here is the Versamark not sure how difficult that is to see there there it is a little bit again i did uh, both inks on both colored paper and i did use my misty so that i could get um, a fairly dark image i did stamp this twice And to color these today, I am using my Derwent Inktense pencils. Inktense are a blend of pencil pigment and ink, and I'm really not sure what the technology is, but I really love these pencils. Um, it is a Derwent product, so it is a tiny bit higher price point, but I feel like... Um, it is just an amazing quality and if you want something super vibrant and super kind of um, bright then Derwent Inktense is the way to go. Even their darker colors are very intense. I guess that's why they call it Inktense. So I went ahead and I'm going to color up this guy today. I'm just using a few different colors from the Inktense line. I think there are 72 or maybe more colors, but I wanted something bright. And I wanted um, a little bit of contrast. So I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring here. This will take me a few minutes. I am gonna use white for a little bit of highlight and I'll probably go ahead and um, just start adding some color. I don't wanna to press too hard because I wanna be able to layer the colors here. And I purposely stamped off the page uh, just to allow myself a little freedom, these images aren't exactly, uh, or this image isn't exactly symmetrical. However, the um, stamping part of the image off the page gives me a little bit more freedom to not have to look at it and feel like it needs to be symmetrical all the way across. So... And this technique really is made for a darker cardstock. Um, this is the darkest blue I had, and I really
wanted to try it, um, you know, on some lighter colors, something not necessarily just uh, like Raven Black. So I'm just adding some lines here just to give me an outline. I want a pretty bright uh, um, outside edge just to make sure that I have that contrast between the dark cardstock and the stamped image. For a technique like this, uh, I really try to keep my pencils fairly sharp. This happens to be my favorite um, manual pencil sharpener. I feel like it gives me a lot of I feel like it gives me a lot of control over sharpening. It has two different areas to sharpen. So one will give you a a longer point and the other will give you a little bit of a wider point. So this is by Prismacolor and I can link this below. I think that they still make this one.
If you're interested in trying out the Derwent Inktense pencils and you don't want to buy an entire set, um, I, I think that their sets start at 12 or 24, uh, but there are retailers out there who will sell individual pencils. And that's what I did is originally, I just bought a few pencils that were um, at a local retailer and tried three or four different colors. I will go ahead and link the colors that I used today down below in case you're interested in just picking up a couple to try them out. They are really fantastic on, you know, plain, uh, white paper as well so give them a shot and if you liked any part of this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when i load new content and also when i go live So I went ahead and cut him down just a little bit. I'm going to mount it on a piece of black cardstock that is four by five and a quarter, and then add that to a standard A2 size card base here. This one doesn't show up very well on my camera, but I just went ahead and used this four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock and put it directly on an A2 card base. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and stamp a sentiment from this scrapbook.com wishing you well set 
The sentiment is sending a little sunshine to brighten your day. And I'm going to go ahead and use the white pigment ink. And this should work. Cross your fingers. Just trying to line it up as much as possible. It's kind of difficult from this angle. pretty good. Okay, so I went ahead and finished off our cards. I just added some enamel dots here to this butterfly to match the backing mat. And this is the one that I did on the blue paper with the Versamark ink, so the watermark ink rather than the white ink. So clearly it looks a little more natural, except when you get into these little lines here. Um, it does give a bit of a different um, kind of contrast. This white pigment ink really brightens up this technique a little bit. And then this is the one where that I um, added the scrapbook.com sending a little sunshine to brighten your day in the pigment ink. That's from this wishing you well stamp uh, set and I can go ahead and link that below if that is still on the market. And then my last one I did on black cardstock. And this one is with the pigment ink. And I thought it would be fun to put some black enamel dots on there, even though they just barely kind of show. Gives it a little bit of interest. And I really like the way that the yellow card base kind of brings out the yellows and greens in this image. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, safety first.